Alrighty guys, welcome to game number two. Between 4GG and Lenok in the DreamHack Winter Losers Bracket. Round one. It's spawning in the top left of Akalon Waste. A map that most people will miss. It's 4GG from Millennium. And his opponent in the bottom right. From 4 Hour Utopia. It's Lenok. So Lenok with a long game in the last one that went through Roaches, Ultralis, Hydralis, Zerglings. Didn't have Banelings, but had Broodlords and Mutalis in it. Let's see what he does in this game here. A very fast... I guess it's a standard scout here. It's a standard scout out of uh, Lenok here. He's actually scouting. Because uh, this map is a map where a lot of weird things can happen. A lot of proxies on this map, like right here, right here... So Lenok making sure to scout over there. He's going to use this drone because he sent the Overlord on a different path. Try and scout some stuff out. Is it going to be... Let's see. We're going to find out right now whether it's Reaper. And it is. It is going to be a Reaper opening out of uh, 4GG here. And Lenok, if he gets in there, will know that it is indeed that Reaper opening. He probably has a good idea, though. A lot of Terrans do that Reaper opening in... Uh, games now so oh look at this oh sneaky Lenok oh shoot look at this got doing the proxy hatch at the natural big plays here from Lenok and there's the pool going down so this most likely would just be to delay the base but because it's a reaper opening he's not gonna have a marine out in time and he, 4GG has no idea that this is what's going on right now. Look at this. I, I love the game art, but I just can't get over that. But the Reaper will most likely scout it when he goes to see it. But it's going to be a minute till he scouts and goes and sees that. And by the time that happens, the pool's already going to be done. And he's the, the hatch will most likely be uh, nearing completion as well. So once a hatch finishes, the amount of creep that's there is insane. And here goes 4GG, and he's going... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. What is this? What is what is this, Lenok? The Lenok the Puss strikes again, and the Reaper's been found. So Queen comes back at home. Queen down at the natural. Let's see what he does here. Should be a drone, actually. Yeah, he's gonna put a spine crawler here, and he is going to spine crawler rush as the bunker goes up for four GG. Uh put himself a nice overlord position to spot the high ground. As soon as that's out, six Zerglings already out. That's going to fend off this Reaper very nicely. As uh, this Reaper trying to fight this, but he won't be able to fight down the spine crawler by the time it goes up here. As these two Lings will definitely keep it alive long enough to keep the spine crawler alive. Guess what? Here's a queen. You're in trouble now, buddy. What is your plan now for GG? This is not a great spot to be in at any time as the factory goes down and that's going to be for tanks because he's going to need those tanks to fight off this uh this attack here once he gets tanks out these spine crawlers won't be worth as much it'll be much harder for the spine crawlers to do some damage here trying to uh trying to fight down that supply depot there and he's going to move this uh the spine crawler into position to do some damage on the high ground perfect overlord placement to spot the high ground here and trying to get the tech lab down on that as he's going to put down the, the creep right here and bam starting to lose some workers already not a great spot and that's starting to go down so these reapers starting to do some damage over here lings hanging out in the middle of the map here roach warren because he's doing roaches guess what just pops seven roaches and one tank is not that great oh he's gonna go banshees okay so he's gonna go banshees to try and fight this which is a decent situation here but if he gets one spore crawler down it's it's a little bit harder for him to do anything to it the banshees on the way but roaches are already in the main base and this is looking very dire for our red terran player like he might fall very quickly in this game number two to a very interesting proxy hatch play which is just it's it's a wow right here you, you just all you can say is wow 
drones are being made at the natural here as he knows that it's going to be cloak banshees so what does he do Let's throw down a spore crawler why the heck not and at this point there's not a whole lot he can do with these reapers he can't really go and attack Lenok at home because Lenok's fine at home he's throwing down a layer and you know what the layer's for it's gonna be for a nidus worm nidus worms love nidus play and this is going to be quite a game right now as this poor crawler's done two queens are out he can start he can start mining off of this base if he really wanted to and he's gonna move the spine crawler into position here and yeah that is i believe the spore is actually in position he's gonna move the spore around though uh, just in case and Lenok, our forge g knows guess what there's a spore in position what am i gonna really do at this point he, the he can't put anything back on this wall because the creep is in position this spy this supply depot might actually fall nope these scvs are going to be able to keep it alive for just a second longer but now this spine will be able to kill it and bam there goes that one supply blocking for gg uh, not uh, not a, not a great situation there uh, a little transfuse there on the spine trying to keep that alive has to fall back a bit as one of those banshees is down to 14 health pushing away that uh, that overlord and I was wrong it's not gonna be nidus it's gonna be just for the speed for the roaches and he's gonna push out with some of these uh, some of these hellions and I think he's just gonna go back to the base of uh, of Lenok and try and do a lot of damage here but a second two queens are out that's going to be enough to fight this off. And he has the creep spread to move his army around. He's going to have roaches back at home as well. This is going to be very difficult for, for GG to actually fight. And I think at this point, if he sees, uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. It may just be a GG situation here because Lenok is in a nice spot. He, he's got full mining on this base. 4GG has mining, but he just can't do anything, and he hasn't been able to trade very cost efficiently at this point. As you check out the work, the resources lost, it's ahead for Lenok, and he's gonna roast a few drones. But as this army is just going to go down, and once that goes down, that pushes 4GG or a Lenok. I keep getting them mixed up. God help me. Um, as 4GG doesn't have a force back at home. He has one Banshee, but that's not going to be enough. There's two Queens here and a Spore Crawler. He can't do anything. One Banshee will not win this here, as all the SCBs have to be pulled. And, yeah, you pull them into a line of roaches. You can't even get a surround off. You are not going to be able to trade cost efficiently with that. And he's going to go to try and pick off this Starport and the Banshee production permanently. Bam, that ends another queen coming out, and he's even mining off of the natural of 4GG. He's repairing this Banshee desperately, trying to keep that alive. But GG and Lenok will take a very swift 2-0. After a very exciting, long first game, he goes with the proxy hatch and pulls it off. So our 4R Utopia player will be moving on in this bracket. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, I like, I love Lenok to watch as a player. I love 4GG to watch as a player. So when I found this replay, I was like, I have to cast this. This is amazing. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for any other uh, things I do from the DreamHack Winter. I'll most likely be doing more. And I'll see you guys next time.